What's up everyone? Phil back again, Replicas of the Past. Want to do a quick look at this guy. Recently got just this week. Um, I'm fixing to go back to work, by the way, on Monday, so thank goodness for that. I'll still be doing my videos, of course, um, as, as I can through the week and on the weekends, but I'm glad to be heading back to work. This here is a Case IH Puma 210 Collector's Edition. It is a 116 scale by Ertl. This here is the box. For the age of the box, it's not in too terrible of a shape. Like it has a nice picture of the real track, track, tractor on the box. And it says the exceptionally versatile Puma line from Case IH gives you the you precisely the power you need for whatever task you're tackling. Plus, the new cleaner burning, more powerful engines boost both fuel efficiency and pro productivity. You demand more, Case IH delivers more. Nice pictures of the real tractor working there. And this came out in 2007. All right, we'll move on to the star of the show, the Ertl 116th scale Puma 210 Case IH. All right, everyone, I'm back, and here it is, the Case IH Puma 210 116th scale by Ertl. Flashers down. There's the flasher lights that are on those rivets there. I actually like that compared to the ones today where they push in and they usually don't stay. I'd rather them just do something like that again. Make it permanent on the tractor. Pretty cool classic looking case I Of course these are looking design of the front end here is really like just like the uh are very very similar to the MX series Magnums from the same time frame and I've seen this before and I thought man that, that ain't a terrible looking tractor there and I like the MX design so I decided I seen this on eBay for a halfway decent price I thought and I thought I'd give it a try and it's a pretty neat replica to say the least not too bad at all um, the Puma line, do they still have that line today? I, I think they do, but I'm not 100% for sure. As far as this, TractorData.com says Case IH Puma 210, produced between 2007 through 2010, part of the Puma series row crop tractors. Previous tractor in this line was a Puma 195, and the next tractor in this line was a Puma 225. Manufacturer Case IH factory actually in two places, Basildon, England, and St. Valentin, Austria. Hmm. Original price $143,661 in 2010. PTO tested 203 horsepower. Drawbar tested 155.8, and it says engine 210. So I guess that's where they get the uh, Puma, the 210 in there. It's a picture of a real one. It's a pretty neat collectible here. Pretty detailed. I'll try to do this without breaking stuff. It's so fragile. It's got your three-point back there. And Neat looking little hitch bar there, center link. It's real stiff, it's plastic, but it does move up and down. There's your SMB and your lights, brake light and flasher lights. Of course, your flasher bars up here on the back of the cab. Also on the back of the cab, you see some more lights. Those are actually decaled up here. Nice looking cab on the tractor though, for real. Looks good. Some nice uh, hand uh, entry bars here on the other side of the cab to get into the cab stairs. I guess this is the fuel tank, maybe. Inside the cab. Actually, fairly detailed, I thought, when I got a close look at it before. not too bad in there brown interior 
knife console over there on the right hand side. Here's your intake muffler over here on the front corner. Mirrors on the front of those uh, entry bars to the cab. Stairs on both sides of the tractor. Here's your Case H210. Up here on the front, the lights are inserted plastic. That's pretty cool, Case IH. Weights on the front, they are die cast. Let's see. The hood does raise up. Exposes the engine there. That's pretty cool. A lot of them do that nowadays. Here's underneath. Tire six around, all rubber. Cool tread on the back tire there, the long shorties. One side long, one side short, and they alternate side to side. Nice little spacing on the duals as well. They look good. Rubber tires, of course. There's your wheel, rear wheel. Front wheel, front wheel assist, of course. Looks pretty good. Tires as well, alternating long short tre uh, treads. Some uh, mud flaps on the front as well. It's a pretty good looking tractor there. Not too bad. We'll do a real quick comparison with this guy. Let's do that now. All right, I want here's my Case Puma 210, Case IH Puma 210, alongside my white Oliver 1855. That's a Lafayette show tractor. All right, I'll move on to some final thoughts. Let's do that now. All right, everyone, I'm back. Ertl 116 scale case IH Puma 210. Really cool replica here. I, I was surprised at how neat it is. I like how it's set up rather well. I think I paid right around 100 with shipping on it from off of eBay. So that's not terrible. It's a pretty cool tractor. Pretty neat little replica. I'm glad I picked it up. All right, everyone, we'll close out my video. I want to thank everyone that always tunes in. This is Phil for Replicas of the Past. Y'all have a blessed day. We'll talk again soon.